If you're watching this video, I don't have to sell you on how rough it is out there. If you want to find a man of courage and integrity who wants deeply committed intimacy. But what if there are things you're doing without your awareness that are making this way harder than it needs to be? In today's video, I'll show you seven reasons you can't find committed men that are within your control and how to change them once and for all so he finds you. I'm gonna say something at the start of this video before you throw a tomato in my face. And that is that this is not a blame the victim type video where I'm gonna share with you all the things you're doing wrong and that it's your fault you're not connecting with awesome men who are not lining up right now to commit to you. I'm not an idiot, I've been around long enough and I've helped hundreds of women in all walks of life in every continent on this planet to create the type of connection that they've been seeking to understand that part of the reason why you're not connecting with committed men consistently is because there's a large part of the male population, let's call it that, that is maybe wanting a friend with benefit situation who only wants sex. There's a lot of guys that are going to connect with you who are confused about what they really want in connection with someone. There's lots of guys who haven't learned to express themselves in an intimate relationship. There's going to be guys who are financially irresponsible and they have to take care of that thing first before they can open themselves to a committed relationship that lasts a lifetime. There's going to be guys who are avoidant and populate the online apps. There's going to be guys who are narcissistic in nature, who can create misery in your life if you are to connect with them and don't recognize them. I'm not saying that the reason you're not connecting with guys is because you're doing something wrong. What I'm saying right now is that the whole picture is not that. There is a way for you to circumvent the norm, which is not getting what you want, and use a few strategies, change your approach so that you can be part of the minority of human beings who are creating the best relationships of their lives in ways that are emotionally, physically, spiritually intimate. My intention in sharing seven reasons why you're not finding the guys that you want right now, guys who are committed, is that these are reasons within your control that despite all the shit out there that I've just described can still help you enter the relationship you want. You may have heard of some of this, you may be practicing some of this. My invitation is that you listen to the whole video because one, the one that you miss out on, if you end this earlier, might be the one you need right now to change the whole thing around and be able to create the relationship you want. The first reason within your control why you can't find committed men is because you're treating dating as a hobby more than a discipline. And let me tell you what that means. That means that if you wanted to find an incredible job or you wanted to create a new career, you'd be doing certain things with a lot of discipline with a lot of commitment would create that dream job, right? You want a job that pays half a million dollars a year and that you can do from home and work three days a week. That's not the majority of what's out there, but here's what happens. We've taken something that has never happened in human history, a connection that is emotional, physical, spiritual, sensual, where you have security, but also some adventure that's never happened in human history. And we have the potential of reaching that now. And we've equated that to it should just happen naturally. So obviously, if this should happen naturally, I shouldn't have to learn anything. I shouldn't have to change my approach. I shouldn't have to develop any type of skills, vetting skills, intimacy skills, skills of attraction, skills of sustaining a relationship, skills of repairing interactions. Why should I do that if it should come naturally? What if it's not natural? What if the natural thing to experience is a mediocre or painful relationship? Look around you. How many people do you find in amazingly juicy, expansive, heart-opening relationships? Not the majority of people. So if you want to snag one of those, we need to learn some skills that put you into the driver's seat of your love life where you can circumvent all the stuff I just shared before. And despite the fact that all those things exist, can still help you to enter the relationship you want. Now, I'm not just saying this because I read this article or I watched the TikTok video or a YouTube video. I've been blessed to help women from all sorts of challenges to actually enter the type of connection they never thought was possible. These are a few of the things that I've helped them do in changing their mindset and their approach to be able to get what they want. The second reason within your control why you can't find committed men is because you're misjudging online apps. Here's the thing. Online apps can work. I've seen this happen countless times. I've had many of my clients get married who met somebody on an app. But here's the thing that each one of those have to do. They have to change their mindset around them. Because if the mindset is similar to the first problem I described, there's almost an entitlement mindset where a lot of the guys I connect with should be amazing, then you've lost before you've gone. Why? Because at most you're going to find 1% at most of men on an online app, that might be a match for you. But if your subconscious mind is telling you that it should be 20, 25, 30, 40, 50%, then when you get 
five dots back to back and maybe a genital picture <laughs> sent to you. When you get a guy who goes to you and you haven't yet found that awesome 1%, then if you're thinking it's a higher percentage, then you're going to think this thing is rigged. It doesn't work. It sucks. And you're going to end it, throw in the towel. 1% of men that you would have never in a million years met in real life. Because if you don't use online apps as your only source of connecting with men, but you use them to your advantage, then if you understand the right mindset and you sift through guys powerfully, then you can still find the guy you're looking for if you persevere and if you're willing to put up with some crap to get into the best relationship of your life. Third reason why you're not finding committed men is because you're using validation as fuel. And I'm saying this without a judgment, just simply as an observation. There's lots of human beings, both men and women. When you're dating, if you have two good dates back to back, yay, life is good. If you have two guys who are not great and you went on dates and they wasted your time, then dating life sucks. So you let your emotions be dictated by what you're finding on the ground. And because what you find on the ground is going to be a lot of times not what you want. That's the nature of really digging deep to find the best relationship in your life. Then you're going to be all over the place and you might get to that tipping point where your heart says, I can't take this anymore. So what's the alternative to using validation as fuel? Using your heart as the sun, as the fuel. That means that when you show up on a date, you're not showing up glamorous and excited for the dude you're showing up that way for you because that's your personal standard for being for showing up for being alive you're making a commitment to yourself that you're going to prime that means exercising meditating that means cold plunging that means moving that means dancing doing whatever it takes for your life your emotional well-being to be at this highest guess what happens when you show up that way and you don't let or don't allow a bad day to deflect your emotional state maybe you feel a little bit of something you're not a robot but you come back to your own source of strength then you go back into it, not for the dude, but for yourself. When you show up that way, two things happen. A, dating becomes a lot more fun. And B, there's going to be a guy in the background that would have seen the defeated version of you and not be excited to connect with you, who's going to be very interested in connecting with you because you're showing up in a way that's incredibly alluring and expansive. Fourth reason why you're not finding committed men that's within your control is because your blind spots are holding you hostage. That means that there might be things within your life right now that you're not seeing or sensing that are keeping you in a loop of doing and doing without really things changing for you. Maybe there's a way you're showing up that is harsher than it needs to be. Maybe you are not showing up with enough clarity or enough vulnerability, or maybe there's a part of you that is really scared and it really comes across as lack of confidence when you connect with guys. So if you want some help around that I've created a quiz you can take in about 60 seconds that's going to show you your main blind spot it's called the number one reason you're still single if you want to participate all you have to do is go to the first link on the description and you will see a page that looks like this answer a few simple questions and within 60 seconds you'll find the answer to the elusive question why you're still single and the number one blind spot you're falling for and how to change that around starting today in a very practical way so you can attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. Fifth reason you're not finding committed men is because you're overvaluing subconsciously one or more traits. Listen, I've had thousands and thousands of conversations with women who have shared vulnerably with me. Here's what I'm looking for in a guy. And there is the list they share with me and there's the hidden list that they almost don't want to share, but if push comes to shove and I press them for it, they actually share it, right? So you can have a list of someone who is perhaps courageous, full of integrity and loyal and committed, emotionally sturdy, right? That's awesome if you have that list. But there might be that one thing where he needs to be in a specific group of income. And if he doesn't meet that mark, you're basically saying no. Or you may have this subconscious thing that you actually tell yourself that it's so valid. He must be this height. And there's a bunch of guys that would be amazing partners and would be incredible lovers. But because you have this idea that in your mind you can't change, you're leaving gold on the table. Sometimes it's really worth exploring. What is the one thing I'm not finding right now? And is it really a value and a characteristic or if it's something more superficial that I could potentially try to do without and see how that works? Number six is because you're investing based on your feelings. You're investing in men based on the way you feel about them. He's so amazing. He checks all the boxes. I feel so cool around him. There's nothing wrong with you connecting with men that you feel great around. But the real question is, are they excited about you? Are they showing up consistently? Do they want a solid relationship? Are they doing the work? Are they pursuing you? Because if you're connecting with a guy that's wishy-washy, hot and cold, ambiguous about what he wants, and you're so excited because he fits the, the boxes, but he's not doing the work, then you're wasting your time. Invest in men based on, yes, they have to meet certain criteria, but also they need to be interested in pursuing you and doing specific things 
to connect with you. If they're not doing those things, I don't care if the guy is the tallest, strongest, most wealthy man on the planet who also happens to be a poet and a saint at the same time. If he's not pursuing you, he's not worth it for you on a dating context. Seventh reason why you're not connecting, you're not finding men who are committed and relationship ready is because your strategy isn't solid. What I mean by that is after having so many conversations with women, the strategy sometimes relies on luck or praying or thinking it's natural or going on an online app. I mean, going on an online app, it's a good start, but it's not the whole picture. The strategy needs to include a few things. It needs to include the way you show up for yourself and how you're going to constantly add to the emotional bank account because you're gonna take some hits in the dating world, that's it. And if you don't have a strong enough emotional bank account, then when something hits you, you're gonna go into the negative. So that's part of the strategy. Part of the strategy needs to be offline, organic connections. So you need to be at the minimum able to count and measure how many connections with guys you didn't know are you creating, which includes throwing the handkerchief, you know? Dropping the handkerchief includes going to places you don't usually go to. It includes initiating in terms of smiling, flirting, asking a question. It includes online and offline. When you do those two things and you're measuring them consistently, you have a much stronger chance of getting what you want. I hope this is useful and insightful. If it is, it would mean the world to me and to my channel because this is how I can grow and reach more women. If you click like and subscribe, and if you want to continue learning how you can attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games, or stupid techniques, make sure to watch the next video right here.